So our time at West Brom is coming to an end. We've only got two games left of the Premier League season. Let's go see how things stand. So following on from our thump and victory against Liverpool, we then went away from home against former club Barnsley and won 1-0. Valentin Pickard with the only goal of the game in the 64th minute. We then had what in the end was actually a disappointing 0-0 home draw against Manchester United. They were chasing us in terms of the top four and being able to stop them from winning was nice, but uh, our former man Magyar got a goal, uh, goal, a player of the match performance and goal for Man United and uh, we couldn't pick up the three points. We then went away from home against former side Nottingham Forest and 1-3-2. Pickard with a hat-trick. We've definitely found the formation for him. It's a little bit late <laughs> for our £45 million striker, but he's been fantastic in the past 10 games or so. We then beat Newcastle 3-0 at home. A pretty routine game this one. Arnold Gonzalez, Valentin Pickard and Roy Martin with the ones in this. We then disappointingly completely dominated Fulham, who was sitting bottom of the league at the time. And we just couldn't find a way through. A nil-nil draw ensued, but it did end up relegating Fulham. And finally was a 1-0 away win against Birmingham City. Xavi with the only goal of the game in the 82nd minute. And that sees the Premier League table looking like this. We currently sit second place. 14 points off Manchester City, so the title's off the cards. Uh, unfortunately as well, we have dropped too many points and we now can't beat Leeds United's point total of 78. But if we are to win both games today... We could get to 77 and get second place in our leaderboard. So let's go play those games. So first off, there was a fixture change. We now have Chelsea at home and Norwich City away to complete the season. Let's get to the Chelsea game. So this is how we're going to line up for the Chelsea match. Man on in goal, Bruno Cesar and Ayo David, our two trusty centre-backs. Dreschel, Babic and Schlupp in the defensive midfield roles. Gonzalez and Simen. <laughs> Simen. Sinan Sayan in the centre of midfield. Edward said playing in behind Pickard and Javi. Pickard, I'm hoping, gets even more goals because I'm starting to love him now, <laughs> now that he's scoring. It's mostly my fault. The formation just didn't suit the strikers. First highlight of the game comes six minutes in. It's Chelsea who are in possession. They are in the defensive areas, so hopefully we might win the ball and uh, do something. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. Edgington coming down the left-hand side for Chelsea. The ball is played over the top for him again, but Dreschel is there. And he deals with it. Cyan brings the ball forward through the centre of the park. He gets dispossessed though. It's the second time uh, possessions change. And Cyan tries to win it again. He can't quite do so. And it does look like Chelsea are coming forward this time. Danich is in behind. Manon with a decent save. Although I think that was going wide. We'll stick with this just in case. Edgington with a corner. We get a clear. Bruno Cesar gets a clear. There we are. Free kick for Chelsea. Edgington plays it in. Oh my... Oh my dears, if that had went in, I would have been absolutely fuming. Ayo David just didn't know what to do with himself. The first 15 minutes or so it doesn't look pretty good for us. We are going to drop off attack and go to positive. They are playing a very, very defensive formation, which seems to be our counter, to be quite honest with you. A team that sets up defensively, we struggle to break them down. I might have to maybe lower the passing directness, lower the tempo, and uh, just try and keep possession and break them down that way. But we have another highlight, 31 minutes in Danich. He's in behind for Chelsea. That is an awful, awful strike. And we are going to make them changes now. Xavi has picked up a knock. We'll keep him on for the time being. We'll probably take him off at half time. We've got Malungu and Roy Martin on the bench to come on. It'll probably be Roy Martin who comes on. I do prefer him in terms of his attributes. So we'll make that change now at half time and kick off all the second half. Highlights straight away after kick off. It's Chelsea on the attack again. I tell you what, Manon is keeping us in this game and I've made a mistake. As you can see, Janice Bonman, our central midfielder, has ended up coming on up front. And it was meant to be Roy Martin. Now, now what do I do? So what we're going to do is we're going to take off our defensive midfielder in Zoran Babic. We're going to put Cyan in the defensive midfield position. We'll put Janice Bonman in the central midfield position. And we'll take off Babic and we'll bring on Roy Martin this time. 50 minutes gone. Can it finally be a highlight for Russ Cyan to schlup on this left-hand side? Falls to Roy Martin and ends up coming to schlup again. He goes all the way back to Cyan. Why? He could have whipped that in across the six-yard box and potentially had a goal out of it. He does get it again though, when he tries it and it's cleared by Chelsea. Is that a penalty? That is a penalty. For what? I have no idea. Do I care? Absolutely not. It'll be Roy Martin, I presume. He does step up. He takes it. He bangs it in the bottom corner. Probably undeserved taking the lead, but that's Roy Martin's ninth goal of the season. And uh, we take fortune wherever it comes. 
now Chelsea are in a world of hurt. They are still playing defensively. We are going to go cautious and have our boys sit back a little bit. Uh, individual mistakes, though. Man on. You're the man. They're still playing the defensive 4-1-4-1. It's not really going to work for you, lads. Once we are sitting back deep, <laughs> well, maybe I shouldn't speak because then this sort of thing happens. Andrea Luiz on this right-hand side for Chelsea goes all the way back to Cedric, our former man. Uh, plays it back to Andre Luis to Mir. Come on, lads. They switch the play to the left hand side where they have a couple of men waiting, and they're in behind with Falador. So do not give away a penalty. Janis Bowman does manage to get a clear, thankfully, without uh, causing us too many issues. But they come again with Craig Blank and Sop down this right hand side. He whips it in. Mohamed's there. And I tell you what, we're dropping our, <laughs> we're dropping our wing backs back to a more defensive position. Hopefully, that can at least try and stop a little bit of their wing player. With only a few minutes remaining, we'll make our final change of the game. Juri Schlupp can come off for Marrera at left back. One minute to go. One minute and we have ourselves a highlight. We are in possession, which is nice. But uh, not that nice man on. Oh, after all the saves he's done. After all the saves he has done. That is the goal we'll concede. Richard Mohamed's eighth goal of the season is going to cost us three points. Man on. With an absolutely dreadful ball. Bruno says I can't get to it. And from this angle he shouldn't be scoring either. Manon is no longer the man. And time is ticking away. Too late for us to do anything. Ah, oh, we dropped two points. So going into the final game of the season. And our final game in charge of West Brom. It's a little bit of a nothing game in terms of the league. We can't go anywhere. We are finishing second place. Which is our highest ever finish in charge of a club. Just not in terms of points. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. So if we are to win, we would join Birmingham City level on points in second place in our leaderboard. And finishing second, it's been a bit of a weaker Premier League than as usual. Um, obviously Manchester City have run away with it, but in terms of the rest of the sides, there hasn't been many sides who have not uh, avoided defeat many times. I think the lowest in the league is ourselves and Man City with seven defeats. So hopefully we get a win in today's game and we can then join Birmingham City in second place. Otherwise... If we end up drawing, it's going to be a three-way tie with Huddersfield and Palace. If we get beat, well, we're finishing fourth. The only change to our starting eleven from the previous game is uh, Roy Barton comes in for Xavi, who picked up an injury. Let's get into the game and see how we get on. First highlight of the game comes 40 seconds in. Norwich on the attack, but we do cut it out. No mistakes, boys. Sid pinches the ball on the halfway line. He gets past his man as well. He's got a couple of options in the box. He goes back to Schlup. That was a great striking opportunity. He didn't take full advantage of it. Oh, it's going to be a Norwich City attack. Decent strike by Kalasar, but uh, doesn't get it on target. Free kick for us. Sinan Sayan takes it short to Edward City. He receives it back on this right-hand side. He whips it in. Schlupp is there back post, and he makes up for his poor strike earlier on. Getting his only second goal of the season is a little bit surprising for the attack and left wing back. Um, but six minutes in, we take the lead and uh, hopefully take the three points. Another highlight now, 18 minutes in. It's Norwich City on the attack down this right-hand side. Marco Antonio, I believe that is our former man. Double save by Manon to keep him out. I want to have a look at Antonio. The highlight does continue with Cyan Gonzalez on the edge to pick. Oh, he goes for goal and he gets... Ah, uh, he's offside. He's not. That's not a goal. But yeah, Marco Antonio is definitely our former man now at Norwich City. Very talented right winger. Highlight for us now, Cyan with a corny. He whips it in back post. It's cleared. It was aimed at uh, Pickard and it's going to be a Norwich City counter-attack. We dilly-dally on the ball and Mewtwo is in behind. Mewtwo even and good save by Manon. Schlupp has picked up a knock. The goal scorer is going to have to come off for Gerardo Moreira at left wing back. And we have ourselves another highlight. Babbage switches the play to Moreira on this left-hand side. He whips it in. Martin down to Pickard. The shot is blocked and Norwich City clear. And there we have it for half-time. Norwich nil. West Brom won. We've been pretty fortunate, I would say, even though the match stats do say we're having the better of the game. Um, Manon has definitely saved us a few times as Martin goes close early on in the second half. 52 minutes in, we've got the ball in the defensive area. That was a mistake for us in Chelsea, so hopefully the boys um, can avoid that today. Bruno Cesar to Dreschel on this right-hand side. Cyan drives forward from midfield. He likes to do that quite often. He plays it back out to Dreschel. He whips it in. Martin is there, but it gets cleared by the Norwich City defence. Don't lose the ball here, please. Babich, back out wide at Dreschel. Can he get a better cross in this time? He certainly can't. <laughs> Marrera 
on this left-hand side. He whips it in. Martin's there. See, we just needed to get it to the left-hand side for the cross. The right-hand side just doesn't work for us. Roy Martin's 10th goal of the season then. Very, very, uh, not surprising, but very, very good for a player who isn't necessarily part of our strongest first 11. And uh, happy with that. 2-0. Another highlight now. Norwich City are in behind straight away and Colasar goes close again. But Manon has uh, definitely been man of the match in the past couple of games despite his mistake. Uh, keeping us in the mute multiple times as Muto takes the corner. It's clear by us and hopefully that's the end of the highlight, please. It is. Another corner for Norwich Muto again taking it. It's played the black post. It's blocked on the line. Colossar whips it in. Mercado, is that is he one of ours as well? Manon with a good save. Mercado is not one of ours, by the way. Norwich City again with the corner. Muto takes it from post. They are definitely banging on the door. We're going to go cautious for the final 15 minutes or so. Right, we're going to make a couple of changes to end our time in charge of West Brom. Yanis Bowman, I want to see him get some game time. He's going to come on for Arnold Gonzalez in the centre of the park. And I want to give uh, Malungo the rest of the game as well. We're going to take off uh, Vincent Pickard. I just, you know, I like to give these boys just a final farewell. Come on, boys, give us a goal to justify this farewell. Malungo crosses it. Martin to Bonman. Easy save for the keeper. Norwich on the counter-attack. Tavares down this right-hand side. That was an awful, awful pass. Why are you showing me this football manager? Malungu pinches the ball. Edward Sids now in behind. He gets past the man. And that's as easy as you like. Edward Sids, eighth goal of the season, puts us 3 0 up. We are getting the three points today. We are coming second in our own leaderboard. And we're finishing second in the Premier League. That will round out a fantastic season in charge of West Brom. And there's the final confirmation of the match. Norwich City nil, West Brom three. A decent enough performance from the boys, but man on was absolutely magnificent in goal. So this is how the final Premier League table stands at the end of that game. We are in second position. We're seven points ahead of Arsenal, Manchester United and Spurs who trail us. But we were 13 points behind Manchester City. So we were never really seriously in contention for the title. I think if maybe if we'd had a solid, stable tactic going into the season, maybe we might have turned a couple of them losses into draws and a couple of them draws into wins. But I still think we would have been well off the pace in terms of competing for the title. But getting 75 points in our first season with a new tactic in the Premier League is absolutely fantastic. And it fills me with hope that maybe in our next club, maybe, maybe it's, the, it's the aim of this season, the aim of this series, to get it or at least challenge or look like we could potentially win the Premier League. So obviously looking back on our season and in charge of West Brom, it's the most money we've ever spent. And the most money that's ever been available. And not all of them were very wise signings. I don't think this was the best shown of myself in terms of football manager. And the transfer activity that we were able to do. There is a couple of signings I'm very proud of. EO David being the main one. 22.5 million quid centre half. I have no doubt in my mind. At only 20 years old with potential still to grow. He will become a top centre half on football manager. But then it's the likes of these signings. Peter Davletchen for 20 million quid. Never even made the first 11. Poor signing, really. Um, and it's something that I'm going to have to be wary of going into the future. If we do have a lot of money, I maybe have to start spending it on very specific players. Maybe looking at much bigger signs than the £45 million pound was spent on Pickard. That was a dreadful sign, <laughs> looking back at it. I mean, he did turn it around at the back end of the season. But £45 million pound for a strike with 13 goals and 29 Premier League games isn't really justifiable. Even if it was our fault. So now comes the job of the job hunt. Let's have a look and see if there's any managerial positions available in the championship. Rotherham are the relegated. We can't take them. Oh, if there's if there's no jobs available for a team in the championship, you know what that probably means. It probably means we're waiting for the beginning of the next season to be able to take someone over. I'll keep an eye on it and we'll keep trying. But um, if not, then it's probably going to be a similar situation as it was last time. Taking over a team. Maybe in October of next season. But that is going to be it from me today. Only one thing left to do. We will resign our contract from West Brom. And we are once again on the hunt. I'm not changing my mind mate. There's nothing you can do. See you later. And uh, oh, a couple of them have followed me this time. Bartek. He's been with me at pretty much every single club as my assistant manager. And he probably will be at the next one as well. But anyway, boys, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy. Hold on, hold on. They're on the leaderboard. <laughs>